Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Kevin with survivalistspores.com and we are getting ready to plant some stuff. Remember last week or so we talked about soaking seeds to speed germination. Some of y'all asked me for an update and here we are. As you can see these squash, squash seeds are germinating, coming out. The uh, bean seeds as you can see some of them are germinating and starting to come out germinating starting to come out now it's just a matter of putting them down we're going to put all of them down we're not going to be selective we're just going to go ahead and put all of them down see there ain't that pretty ain't that neat yes sir it is even the watermelon seeds look at them look at that pea seed look at there it's already sprouting roots it's like get me in the ground Okay, so we're going to get them in the ground. These are the potatoes we planted a month ago. And some of them are already uh, six, eight inches tall. That one over there. This first row is not doing too good for some reason. I don't know what the deal is. That middle row and the outside row are doing really well. We got the this row over here tilled up. And I spread some triple 13 in there. And some of y'all may be saying, well, what are you going to do when crap hits the fan? You ain't got commercial fertilizer. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, if you look closely, we've also got a bunch of rabbit manure spreading there. Went out, went underneath the rabbit hutch with a bucket and a spade. Then just started scooping that rabbit up, rabbit manure up with the leaves and the pine straw and everything. And I had a bucket, had a catch bowl underneath there. Where I caught some fresh manure and oh that stuff stinks. That stuff really stinks. So what we're going to do is we're just going to use a, a rake. And we're going to cover that up and we're just going to throw the seeds down. Some of y'all may have heard the three sisters of the corn, the squash, and the beans or peas. Well we're doing two of the three sisters. We're doing squash, zucchini, peas, and beans. Well really just beans. We're not doing any peas right now. We're going to do some peas over there. Alright so let me get a rake. We're going to mound that up. Cover that manure up, put the seed in the top as the roots go down, they'll go into that rabbit manure and fertilizer. And here we go. Oh yeah, here's all the little chicks. Can y'all believe these are two months old? There's the Buff Orpitans, Osterlop, Rhode Island Red, Bard Rock, Bard Rock. They're really growing, really growing. Christy and I got another rooster and two more Rhode Island Reds, so he gives us a Buff Orpitan rooster, wherever he's at, and a uh, Osterlop rooster. Okay, so here we go. We've got the potatoes, three rows of potatoes. Planted two, well three, I'm sorry, three of the grape tomatoes. And then an entire row of zucchini. I don't know how long this is, 75 feet, 100 feet or so. I don't know. And tomorrow we're gonna come in and plant an entire row of uh, squash and uh, beans yeah this is zucchini and beans if you plant the beans and the peas in with the squash and zucchini the deer do not bother them as bad because the deer don't like the uh, little bristles on those zucchini leaves and stalks stems so they don't eat zucchini leaves or, or stalks whatever and stuff planted in with the zucchini and the squash, the deer will leave alone. So we're going to plant, we've already got one row of zucchini and snap beans. We're going to come over about three foot, plant another one. I may have to get the tractor out and disc up a little bit more. Because I want a couple of rows of uh, okra in here. So we may, we may be able to work it out. Row of uh, zucchini, row of squash. A row or two of okra and a row of watermelons right there. All right, guys and gals, that's it. There's, oh yeah, I also wanted to mention the, uh, these grape tomatoes. A few years ago, I was able to find grape tomatoes without the hybrid on them. And it seems now that these grape tomatoes are being hybridized, which is no big deal but if you're planning on saving your seeds, it is a big deal. Because I've got some grape tomato seeds 
that are not hybrid. And these came from Asia, I think Vietnam. And whenever they were first brought over, they were a non-hybrid. And they've slowly over the years become hybridized. And that kind of bothers me a little bit, that we're losing our food supply to this hybridization. Now this is different from GMO. Hybridized is just cross-pollinating. Look right there, look right there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Get them in the ground. I may have made these mounds up a little bit too high, but oh well, it'll be all right. Oh, there's a seed. Push that down in there. It'll be all right. Just pack it. Yeah, it's going to be all right. One way or another. It's going to be all right. And uh, got this made up by hand. Did the, till the tiller, then a rake. And tomorrow, like I said, we'll come in and we'll plant the squash. And I'll talk to y'all later.